Hello and welcome to the first of hopefully many videos detailing the enemies of Dark Souls 2. Now you're going to notice this picture looks pretty great, right? Yeah, it does. And the rest of this video is full of nice templates and these are all been drawn by my wonderful girlfriend Emma. Now, this video is about the flopper. That's what we have named this enemy. Let's get into it. Let's start off with a few places you're going to find these guys. So first you're going to notice a lot of them in the Lost Bastille. A little bit further along you might find some in the water of the Sinner's Rise. Keep going at the bottom of the hole on the way to the gutter. And again, once you get to the gutter, there's a few of them on the bridges. And near the end of the game in the dragon area, you're going to find a few more. Moving on to some general information about the flopper. So, here's some stats on the guy. Uh, you, you might notice that I'm only going to be showing stats for the first encounter with whatever enemy I'm doing for the video. So this is the ones in the Lost Bastille. They have 200 HP, drop 260 souls. You can backstab them, which I'm assuming is the same for all of them. Uh, and then the items, uh, the only thing I noticed these guys were dropping was the Alluring Skull. Otherwise, the ones at the bottom of the hole were dropping Flame Butterflies. And the ones in the Dragon Area were dropping some Gold Pine Resin. Let's get into the really good stuff now. Weaknesses, how much damage you're going to do with each type of weapon. So I'm comparing the Strike, Slash, and Thrust here. Uh, just this quick little video here is showing how much damage each of the weapons I'm using should be doing and they're pretty much all similar they're within six points uh, you'll notice the axe is doing the lowest technically and the club is the highest the spears in the middle but then going through these three weapons just attacking this guy trying to do the most damage out of one regular attack as I can I'm doing 87 damage with this axe which is slash then I move on and use the spear which is technically doing two points more damage than the axe and it, you'll see that in the number of damage that I'm doing to him, I'm doing just a little bit more. So it's basically the same. Th uh, either slash or thrust is the best way to fight these guys. Um, you might want to stay away from strike weapons, although these guys have really low defense anyway, so you, what you want to do is kill them in two hits. So you don't really want to stay around for long. Uh, you should be able to kill them with anything, really, but if you're having trouble, maybe it's because you're using a strike weapon, is all I'm saying. The other two are a better choice. Similar to what I just went over, now let's move on into the elements. So I've got four long swords. One of them is fire, magic, lightning, and dark. There you go. They're all almost exactly the same, except the lightning and magic do have two less points from the scaling, so I just added them to the total. So you don't have to pay attention to every single video. Just notice that the numbers show the proof. The magic is the only one doing more damage than the other three. So technically, if you want to add some uh, damage, elemental damage to your weapon for these guys magic is the one but really these guys just have really bad physical defense so you don't really need elements at all because you're going to end up doing more damage with just pure physical attack now that we're done with what we're going to do to them how about what they're going to do to us so you're going to notice that they have their simple either they're going to swing their arm once at you or they're going to swing their arm twice at you just like that or of course their signature move the flop which you can as you can see there block with your shield but it is going to take a ton of your stamina away so be aware of that now I've got a couple of clips here of me trying to parry this guy maybe I messed up a couple times but there's a couple times here where you can clearly see that it should have parried if it was possible and I'm just here to tell you don't try it even if it is possible I tried a bunch of times and it never worked uh, you don't want to risk your life because they can do a lot of damage. So just, just get out of the way or block them if you really have to. Time to explore the different kinds of floppers in Dark Souls 2. So the very first one you're going to actually find is in a cage here. He's one of the fire floppers and he just explodes. You might not have realized that that was a flopper. It is. Now, moving on, once you get to the uh, really the first experience with them, uh, you, there's a ton of them. If you run right through, you're gonna. This is gonna happen to you. Probably not a good idea. Uh, this is a standard flopper, but mixed in with them are the petrification floppers, and they can petrify you with their dust. And they seem to have higher defense than the rest of them, but do less damage. It's kind of weird. Uh, as you're going through the game, you get to the bottom of the hole. You're gonna find these flaming suicidal floppers. They're not very nice. They can do a lot more damage than the other guys. And, yeah, they just kill themselves. And they just keep coming at you. Eventually they're gone and you can move on with your life. But 
while they're there, they're gonna they're gonna hurt you pretty bad if you don't get out of the way. Near the end of the game, of course, you come across these guys. They seem normal, but what I notice is that they're actually corrosive. That stuff will destroy your equipment. You really do not want that to happen. So keep your distance from these guys more so than the other ones. Of course, they can also knock you off the bridge. Maybe not this one, but the other ones for sure. Not fun. Finally, let's go over everything again really quickly and figure out a way to fight these guys, right? That's what you came here for. So, just take a slash weapon, maybe a pierce weapon, put some magic on it if you want, and just slash away. There's not that much of a strategy. You probably want to dodge. It's a better idea than blocking. And then what you really want to do here is make sure that you have a weapon that can kill them in two hits. You don't really want something that's going to take more than that because by the time you try to get that third hit off, they're going to flop on you. As you notice right there, if I didn't take him out in two hits, he was going to land on me. So there you go. Don't really use strike if you if you don't need to. And try to take him out in two hits. That's the only strategy I can offer. And get out of the way, because they'll blow up. That is all the information I have for you today about the flopper. If there's anything I missed, be sure to let me know in the comments. Something you didn't like, something you especially liked let me know if there's a segment that didn't really need to be in here or if there's one that you thought of that might be helpful for next time on the next enemy that I do also let me know in the comments subscribe if you want to be ready the next time I upload another one and of course share this with some people that like Dark Souls 2 also if you feel like it if you think that's a good idea why not I, I might try to submit this to the wikis see if they have a use for it maybe uh, if you're part of one of those wikis, maybe you're a higher power, maybe you can see if that can happen. Who knows? Any, either way, thanks for watching, and have a nice day.